Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Fear the Walking Dead season 8, the last season, episode 9, and also the episode 10 for you into this video. For me today, I'm only gonna watch the episode 9. It's gonna be great, already. It's gonna be great already. You know it for Fear the Walking Dead for this last season, but also for the last one before that. I'm reacting to Fear the Walking Dead, but you know, not one episode at a time, it's two episodes at a time. That's my way, you know, to deal with this show because I'm explaining it each time. I love these characters, I love them so much, I'm so involved with these characters, but clearly this show during the last seasons, the quality, you know, of how it was written, it was so much, you know, so many up and downs and so many times I was just disappointed by some episodes so to react to one disappointed episode it was a little rough and it was not truly representing the love that I can have for these characters so that's why I decided to react to this show two episodes at a time and it's working well at least for me and that's it, now we are beginning the second part of this final episode, it's so cool. I'm sorry for the lights, you know, <laughs> how it is on screen. But outside it's really shiny, so I did my best, you know, with what I can do, what I have and all. Like, I don't have a professional studio or anything like that, so it's gonna be like that for the entire video, I think. Guys. You can see me, you're gonna watch this episode with me, it's already great, let's move on with that. Little resume, you know, of my thoughts of the two first episodes of that second part of the final season. I still don't believe that Alicia is dead. I don't want to believe so, even if all of the characters are repeating it, you know, at multiple occasions, for me she's not dead, she can't be. She's the favorite character, you know, into this show. She's really someone that we love and that we are following since so long. She's the one who stayed during all of this time. You can't take her back, you know, for the final part of your final season, even more now that Madison is back, because clearly, if you took back Madison, it's to have this reunion between Madison and Alicia at some point. If not, I really don't see the point. So okay, maybe it's a good idea to, to make an entire situation with everyone believing that she's dead with that new villain who is not in fact a new villain because it's Troy who came back also and that's great, you know, for this final part of the final season to have someone from the past coming back, you know, a ghost as Troy and to make him the villain but maybe it's a bit more complicated than that like maybe we can have deeper things about him and it's so cool because clearly with all of what happened before with these characters with his relationship with everyone it can be interesting in fact to have someone who changed with time now he has a daughter he wants to take care of her to find a good place for her that's why he wants Padre in fact it's not just a question of revenge against Madison I think that it's also a question of, of revenge but it's not just that so to bring him back to make things you know which are gonna be interesting with him for the story to go deeper with him but still is a villain because he killed Alicia. I think that it's really cool, really interesting. But no, he didn't kill Alicia. I don't believe it. Until I see it, you know, until I see her dead, you know, walking like that, I'm not gonna believe so. And I really, really want this reunion at some point. And even, you know, like I didn't make any research for the final part of this final season, so I don't know who is the casting, so I don't know if the actress who is playing Alicia 
is gonna play you know during this final episode so even if we can't see it on screen I want to know that at some point they were reunited and clearly if she's dead I'm gonna be so disappointed like for me it's not gonna be okay it's not gonna be okay with how they built the entire show it's gonna be logical with how they built the last episode but with how they built their entire show and also the connection that the viewers made with this show and with this main character that we had all along this show it's not gonna be logical so I really hope that she's still alive and that we're gonna have her back at some point we said goodbye to Charlie during the last episode it was nice to have her back, it was rough to see her sacrificing herself like that. It can be a good lesson for Madison. We'll see. And I'm gonna see that right now. Let's go for it. I'm gonna make a short review after each episode, you know, because this video is already gonna be long because I'm putting two reaction parts into it. Remember that if you want to have my Patreon and on my Patreon, you have an extended reaction part for both of these episodes. The video you know about the episodes 7 and 8 was 29 minutes longer on my Patreon. So really, it's a big extended reaction part that you can find on my Patreon. If you can be interested, if you want to support me for the end of this show, you know, if you want to be there with me, you have my Patreon for that. Let's go for this episode! No, it's not the same place. It looks like it. That's all. It's really the same place. Maybe it's time to repair that? Time to heal, Dwight. Time to fight your demons. Okay, so he said the truth. Infinity sign. By doing what? No exit wound. We gotta get this bullet out right away. Who did this? 
Tomorrow's just her sales drop, and they're looking for someone to bring their friend. We have some top-notch medical supplies back at our place. Now, of course, you know that. You were there. Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. What? TikTok, what's it gonna be? These medical supplies, what do you want in exchange? He deserves the satisfaction of finishing what he started. And I intend to give it to him. You want Dwight in exchange of this medical supplies? Nice try, asshole. Cherry was really like, you're gonna give yourself. She has memories too, she has demands to fight also. Jerry, you should be doing this. I already told you, I can't. It's not the train car. It's more than that. Mm. Oh, but as soon as she's done, we can start the extraction. No, no. You couldn't even take his own son. No, no. Not fair. No, no. How did they... Suddenly, like these guys, they never made noise and they didn't protect the area at all. I put them all over the place. Places where Negan couldn't find them. For infinity? Because you can't be together, it's the end of your life, like... Okay, you had a bad breakup, but come on! <laughs> Cherry? Cherry! You don't get to get up like this! Rose. No. Okay, June. It's also your episode to fight your demons. Just. I was too late. I couldn't save her. She was ready to die also right there. You want to sacrifice yourself also, you know, to die. I'm right. Yes. In fact, like him, you don't want to die, but you're ready to die. Oh, you're getting killed also, like... Yes, everything is gonna get destroyed up. Maybe something good can come from something bad, and maybe there's a reason that we all wound up in here. We just need to work through the bad to get to the good. Yes.
Do you trust me? Ask me up and pull it out. <laughs> Good answer. Your life is not over, you know, after a bad breakup. That's the lesson of this episode. What is it? That's a beautiful name. Say goodbye to the sanctuary. For good! A place for a little girl. Her or anything, but still, he kidnapped that girl to have something against Troy. It's a place where Madison was, no? It looks bad, you know, for Strand to keep that kid right there, but you know, <laughs> with all of what Troy was trying to do against all guys and all? Ha! Ah. Right there, he's not gonna torture her. Like, the fact that he was putting all of these things in place, it was really like a psychotic thing to do and that was bad. But no, like, come on, I trust the new strand. I trust also all guys, Padres guys, you know, all of this place to not hurt that little girl at all and really just to use her against Troy like come on you're not gonna attack her we have your daughter come on can we make a deal like see she can be safe right there we can all be safe right there I, tr I believe into that okay quick review about this episode it felt so great to have Dwight back I didn't think that we would have him for this final partner of the season and it feels so right you know to have him it's so great the fact that he went back home the fact that he was near to the sanctuary we went back to the sanctuary we had all of these memories with Dwight with Cherry it's cool you know and this entire episode was about these two and also June fighting their demands fighting who they were, the bad stuff that they did, that they lived and really they had to make peace with it Dove, Odessa was there to tell them that for now they can't save Padre, they can't save all of these kids because they are so occupied, you know, into their minds with fighting these demons that in fact they are blocked by it and it was really cool, you know, to have this one episode to be about the characters to go deeper with the characters and to have some conclusions for them Cherry and Dwight fighting their demons, their memories right there watching the sanctuary being destroyed fighting also themselves and the fact that they didn't want to die but they were ready to die, okay to die, to sacrifice themselves and no, now is not the time for you guys these kids, Padre, they still need you, both of you and for June it was more about you... you didn't save these kids but you can save other ones so just do it don't be afraid, they need you. Yes, it was great, it was really cool. We had some shortcuts, you know, made by the writers during this episode. Like these guys, they were not organized at all. This place was not organized at all. The fact that it was so easy for the deaths to come right there, to destroy this place like that. Like during all of this time, they didn't make 
enough noise you know for for dead to hear them it's a little weird and some other shortcuts like that like I'm not really blaming the writers for them because again this is the final season they don't have a lot of episodes and right there they took an entire one for the characters for this three to close the stories for them so it's okay you know like fair enough it's okay I know what you did, I saw the shortcuts that you took. You used these shortcuts to have more time for the characters. I'm okay with it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna watch for you into this video, the next episode, right now. You took my daughter. It makes me think I'm gonna make a deal with you. We didn't take her because she's We'll bring her back to you and we will bring Victor to you too. We have a deal. I won't oh, trust yes. him with that. Oh, yeah. oh! And she jumped! Not only she knows where she is, but she jumped also like... Oh, strange, you can really be a pain in the ass. Also because it's not gonna kill a kid. Where are you going to take me? Just the one person who not both of us. My kids deserve to be at rest. I can do that with Nick. I'm gonna do the same with Alicia. She's you know, not dead. Person? You did not make her survive all of this season. You did not make Madison come back just to kill Alicia now. No. I found her wandering around the wilderness. I saved her life. You kidnapped me? Perhaps the truth lies in the middle. Nah! Sir, you have your father's eyes. Sentence you don't make you pay for his crimes. He killed my daughter. On top of a lot of other shit he probably didn't tell you about. He I'm told not sure of that. How he killed his father. How he turned his brother against him. How he left him for dead at the dam. He also killed my mother. <laughs> Sorry, kid, but I don't know what your father told you. I don't know who your mother is. It does matter that she may be able to lead us to her. Is that true, Tracy? Maybe. What do you think you're doing? No! We'll be monitoring the radio shop. What did you bring Trace's daughter to my truck stop? We're just passing through. This is you putting know? your place at risk. I'm sorry, Luciano. Sorry. She wants to protect our people. I'm not going to blame Lucy for that. Yeah, let them go. Troy already knows about this place. Then they return the girl, he's still gonna attack us to get everything we have because that's his nation. He told me your daughter died because she tried to poison a lot of innocent people. My daughter Ophelia died because your lunatic father let a herd of the dead to destroy his own salmon. She died because of your father. Not fair, clearly the two of you, you're not the ones who can give lessons like that to anyone. We both know how far I go to do what I believe is right. Come on. Go, go, go. What the hell was that? want to find Alicia on that. A lot of them right there. Defend yourself better than that, my dear. Oh, we need someone to help. Like that. This trick? No. Not Alicia. You're a group. I can imagine Alicia having a group like that now. This is 
is where we're going to find the leash. So I just didn't want it. She only brought you to a place where she knew, you know, like, that a lot of deaths would wait for you. Probably told me he didn't know where she was. Uh -huh. He lied. He You're lying. Last time I was in the house with someone, I thought I'd never see him again. Well, where she told me. When? Well, she died. When Sean killed her. She, she died? You don't remember me, do you? We spoke years ago, back in Texas when I was a little kid. You went agreed to enter the tower. I was with my dad. He turned his life. But then we heard a voice transmitting a message. Are you sure? She told us to come to your tower. I just needed help to build it into something better. She really died. I'm. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, but it's the worst choice possible made by the writers for the end of that show. I know that right there they want to show us that a lot of people are honoring her, that she's still alive because of them. Yeah, she never stayed in one place for very long. The word spread about her, gave people hope. We're trying to spread some of the same. We want to wish this legacy to continue. It's better if people believe she's still out there helping. So, you want. People to believe in your heart. Why did Troy kill Elisa? We don't know. But we're going to spare her because she wasn't the only person who came. I know exactly where she's going. Where? Whoever you hit Elisa. She's with Daniel and Madison. You're the one who took her. I'm the only one trying to save her now. We'll never catch up. Not on foot. Well, that's the thing. We're not going to be on foot much longer. What does that mean? Troy? Use our roads to get to her as long as none of my people get her. Are you gonna help me? You know, Nick chose the uh, ranch instead of you. I think I'm more important than you, right? Well, She's really brave and capable. And stand down. Oh, you're outnumbered. You're outgunned. This doesn't end well. But you. Daniel's guys, everyone. Yep. My daughter's in danger. So stand down so we can negotiate this fight. My daughter seems as good a reason as any to lower your weapons. Victor, are you still listening? I've been held up. So unfortunately for you, means you're the only person who can help me. I want to come for you if I know. How can we know for sure it's uh... No, you're not gonna kill. You got the stomach for that, Madison? She just tried to use her own mother to kill me. Wait, I know where Alicia might be. I know where my dad killed me. I don't believe you. Oh, uh, it's old man chips off Route 26 near Fort Worth. It doesn't change the fact that you know where the island is. Madison! You can't do that, Madison. Someone stole one of our trucks after the shooting broke out. He's gonna find his kids, he's gonna find Margaret. 
Si un jour il est dans la But you know, to have an herd of deaths coming to an island? Is there a problem? No, it's just you have no idea what it means for us to be standing across from you right now. We thought you were dead. I don't understand. How do you know? Did you see with your own eyes Alicia dying? So many times to take war out. There's some way someone has got to stop him. Madison, please. I hate Troy as much as you do. You can end up dead like the rest of them. I can help you one way right now. By finishing what I started ten years ago today. They're gonna follow you. You just said you know where you're going. I'm a little mad. <laughs> I'm a little mad because clearly. I thought, you know, during the two previous episodes, no, the three previous episodes to tell you that no, Alicia is not dead, I'm not gonna believe Troy just like that, I can't. And really, we had Alicia's character during all of these seasons, you know, all of this show, she was really the main character of this show. Suddenly for the final season, they brought back, you know, Madison, so we can have a reunion at some point. If not, I don't see the point. And really, to kill Alicia like that, you know, without us seeing it, to, to do things, you know, like that for the final season, it's not working at all for me. I'm really thinking, you know, about the logic of your entire show, the logic behind your Tire things, you know, like not only the narrative arcs, not only the development of uh, all of the characters, not only the development of that particular character who is Alicia. I'm really thinking about all of that, everything, and also all of the patience that your viewers put into that show, put into that character. You can't end things like that. Okay, they are trying to replace that, you know, to replace the fact that Alicia is not dead by having all of these characters talking about her, talking about how great she was, how much she influenced them, how much, you know, right now everything that they are doing, it's because of Alicia and because of that they are keeping her alive, they are keeping her dream alive and it means so much and all. It's a way to honor the character and for the viewers to be more at peace, you know, with the fact that she's dead. But it's not working with me because really I can see and I can think about what the entire show was about, about what this character, Alicia, was about, about the relationship between Madison and Alicia was about, about the logic that you put into all of all of this season's story and all and for me it's not functioning and right there you know try seeing that she's dead it's not enough for me this group of girls who were our last group you know seeing it i have to believe it you know did they see it themselves i'm not sure but the fact that they believe it, it means that they tried, you know, to find Alicia, they, they were confronted, you know, to the truth that Alicia is truly dead, don't understand what I mean? You know that I'm not searching for spoilers online and also I don't know if the actress who is playing Alicia was cast for that final part of the final season. So I don't know if Alicia is truly dead or not, I don't know if at some point she's gonna appear as a dead or alive, I really don't know. I'm just giving you my thoughts right now. Madison, during this episode, you know, the fact that she could kill that girl, it's not surprising for me because we saw her losing everyone, losing all up, what happened with Charlie also, it's not really a surprise for me. Like, you know, the fact that Strand is really trying to protect that girl at the end, Tracy, not a surprise neither. Try what he's doing for searching for his daughter, for reaching out and all, not a surprise. That girl, her attitude and all, she made me think a lot of Troy. 
also a little of Alicia, so at some point I was like, no, she can't be your mom, like, I'm thinking about the chronology of stuff, it's not functioning at all if she's your mom. And after that, you know, when we met that group of girls with whom Alicia was at the end, I was like, okay, really not functioning. So when we discovered that this fake Alicia was the girl's mother, I was like, okay, that's it. I understand that was your mother. We're never gonna have the answer about who she was truly. Like, we just have to stay with the idea that she was someone to whom, you know, Madison, you know, she talked, she, she sought out that dream and all. But we're never gonna know truly, you know, the, the face of that girl. It's not bothering me, you know, not that much. I find that a little weird, but why not? The fact that Tracy, you know, took Madison right there, it's logical. Tracy being all by herself now into the forest, you know, a little girl like that. I'm not sure, you know, if that, you know, it's truly logical, like a little girl like her who is gonna survive by herself. I don't know. Trey is coming for sure, but boom. I don't know. <laughs> the fact that she has Alicia's necklace, like, do we have to understand that? Well, that, I don't know neither. Like, what the little girl she implied, the fact that she has a necklace, it's almost like maybe Troy killed Alicia, but it was sweeter than we thought, you know, it was not into a moment of hate, anger, and all. Because I still don't know for sure that Alicia is dead. And you know, playing with that during the three last episodes, Alicia, is she truly dead or not? I understand what the writers are doing. It's okay. I can deal with it. Right there, maybe it was a little too much for me. All of that quest, you know, to find her. Was it truly that woman or not? These girls, you know, now that we... We just met and we are telling that she's truly dead. Like that, it at some point stop playing with that and give us the beginning of an answer, a real one. All of the rest of the episode, you know, was well written. Lucy protecting her people. Everyone, you know, not accepting what Strand did. Strand who chose to, to take the blind off them. Strand escaping with the girl, finding a Madison, then Daniel coming with them for that reason, for his daughter. Everything is logical, you know, with the story and with the characters, you know, all of what happened truly, the action moments and the decisions which were taken during this episode, everything was logical. So I don't have a lot else to say, I prefer to talk more about what the writers didn't do, in fact, during this episode or try to do, but not fully, mm. I'm a little mad and disappointed. If truly they did it, you know, they killed Alicia, no, a little disappointed. We'll see and I'm gonna see that for you in another video, which is gonna be about two more episodes. If you want extended reaction part for both of these episodes that you watch in this video, you're my Patreon for that. It's all for you and for me for today, so it's all for me for now, so bye for now, bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.